A 16-year-old boy from Campbellsport is in secure detention tonight. The teen was arrested yesterday. Authorities believe he shot the arrow that eventually hit the 7-year-old girl Ariana Schneeberg two weeks ago. A 17-year-old boy is also being referred for charges. Fox 11's Chad Dorn has the latest details. The arrest is a sense of relief for Ariana's grandmother, Michelle Schneeberg. It's a big relief to the community also. Schneeberg says her daughter, Laura, is too upset to talk about what happened. I read. She said um, and she just needs a little time to compose herself. Neighbors say the arrow came from a second-story balcony in this apartment building, nearly 80 yards away from where it hit Ariana. So far, you almost can't see it through the trees. Probably Sheriff Mick Fink know. says the teens were shooting at squirrels in a tree. Detectives interviewed the teens just over a week ago, but returned last night for a second interview in which the boys confessed. That's a big concern from my point of view as, as, as a sheriff. The Campbellsport community is a small, tight-knit community. Um, we needed to get to the bottom of this so, so we knew whether it was you know, accidental, whether it was reckless, whether it was intentional. The 16-year-old was in juvenile court this afternoon. He was referred on charges of second-degree reckless injury and obstructing an officer. He was ordered by the judge to be confined at a facility called Shelter Care in Fond du Lac, a non-secure detention center. Every action has a consequence. So think about what you're going to do before you do it. And obviously, the young man did not. Still, Schneeberg says the arrest brings peace to her family knowing the person who allegedly shot little Ariana is now in custody. We were very afraid, and I think that's what the community was afraid of, too. In Campbellsport, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. The Fond du Lac District Attorney says he'll make a decision in the next few days whether to seek to have the 16-year-old boy waived into adult court. Authorities have not said what the 17-year-old may be charged with.